Today we're talking about the thumbnails, we're talking about how you can do your own and make it really great for people to watch your videos even more and how to upload it from your own phone because I'm not about wasting time here. I'm gonna show you a really great example of what I do for my own thumbnails and how you can do the same. It's gonna be right about now. Bonjour sur ma chaîne, hola, bienvenue de la Ami Canal, Konnichiwa, Watashi no Channel Oni Yoko. So, I hope you're doing fine today. This is another day, another week, and another video of me about getting creative with a thumbnail. Why? Because thumbnails they are becoming more and more important, if not necessarily crucial, for people to actually get intrigued and watch more of your videos. And especially when you're beginning and you're starting off, people don't know you, people have yet to know you and have yet to discover you. So, two factors you play into the algorithm and people being able to find your channel the watch time and the thumbnail the watch time is how long people are gonna watch your videos for but for that they need to get to discover your channel and be intrigued in knowing more of your channel you know and that stop with the main door of your house the thumbnail you know the biggest mistake that people do is to get a screenshot from their videos unless you really well known People need to be intrigued, people need to be enticed to watch more, you know? So you don't want to take a random screenshot from your videos and people are gonna just click on it. It's not happening in 2020, I'm, I'm sorry. Really gonna make it more intentional. I'll show you what I use for my own uh, thumbnail because it's Canva. I am love it, Canva. Years that I've been with them and I do pretty much everything with them. Before getting to the technical part because it's gonna be a little bit lighter. If you're talking about a specific theme or anything fast or anything YouTube equipment you want to look on Google or you want to look on YouTube what people already did about it when it comes to the thumbnail when it comes to the visual which one attractive to you the most and why in order for you to make people feel the same way you need to realize why are you feeling that way? Is it because of the color? Is it because of the graphic? Is it because of the title? Is it intriguing? Is it because it's like straight to the point and you know what to expect and then you just go for it? It's gonna reveal a lot more of your personality at that level. You can do the same for your own thumbnail. Again here, it's not copy pasting, it's taking inspiration. When you get to feel a certain way, get to deconstruct what makes you feel what when you're looking at the thumbnails indications of what you like or what you don't like about the thumbnail you don't want to spend hours and hours and hours on looking on everybody thumbnails you want to get to two three maybe four maximum and then you move on <laughs> something i got to realize over the time with me exploring and doing different type of thumbnails is that people love seeing people's face and reactions it's much more so because we are visual as part of being a human being and we connect with emotions so whenever we're gonna see people reacting a certain way and are showing a certain emotions we're gonna feel a certain type of way a good way could be a bad way but we're gonna react having your face being on your thumbnail is something that i highly highly suggest because as far as being a human beings we have a lot of different emotions you have seven main emotions in general it could be the anger it could be the surprise it could be the happiness it could be the disgust it could be the fear it could be the contempt it could be those type of emotions that really people are gonna be able to see practice it i love it when i say practice it because when it comes to the fear i'm like oh when it comes to discuss i'm like yeah i'm gonna use the thumbnail that i did for my youtube uh, equipment i'm gonna go step by step onto what i did the first thing that i did was to take multiple shots once everything is good i took the pictures now i'm gonna get them onto my phone because then i'm gonna be able to edit them before getting them on canva i wanted to show a type of surprise or just like i don't know which one to pick because when it comes to having youtube equipment we have a lot of choices so sometimes we don't know what to pick <laughs> that's a bit of the feeling that i want to showcase here quick of changes to just make uh, anything a little bit more brighter so let me show you i go on changes and then i'm doing that 
and usually when I do that I love the sometimes I like it sometimes I'm like eh, not sure but this one I actually like I'm gonna just cancel just to see and uh, I don't hate it actually I don't hate it I don't hate it but I'm trying to see any picture that actually can be a little bit more closer let's get that one I love that one because you can see my emotion and you can see everything so I'm gonna do a quick color correction here I'm gonna be able to change the filter I'm gonna go with maybe the color like that or something a little bit more like moodier I love that because at the same time it's a bit bright but not as much that one is good and I'm probably gonna pick this one I'm gonna go on face tune to do a bit of a blurring when it comes to the background first before getting to the blur background I'll correct again here a bit to see whatever it's gonna give me so I'm gonna go into red touch and I'm gonna go automatically I like it a lot, I like it a lot. I want something to be overdone. I hate it, I hate it. I want to be able to kind of look at myself and recognize myself. Yeah. Now, let's go with the blur background. Anything is in French, as you can see. I'm gonna go on to Flutti in French, which is much more like blur in English. Either into the auto, but as you can see here, it literally blurs a bit of me and a bit of my camera and I don't want it. So I blur it off a bit until it gets a little bit more to the way that I want. There you go. No, no, no. Yes. Now I have it that way and I think for the rest I love, I really love the vibe. The second part here is gonna be to use another application. That's it. I'm gonna give you a really nice glow and I'm gonna show you that here like for the picture here so I'm gonna go with the portrait style what I'm gonna do here is to export again I'm gonna go to Canva now this is where the magic happens I just realized that well I explained without actually recording the screen so we're gonna do it again and it's okay let's just move on to it i'm gonna go from here and show you a bit what i did in order for me to get that the first step was to play around with the lighting 70 percent of people watch their youtube videos on their mobile phone so you want to make it a little bit more sharp and a little bit more brighter here and i adjust everything as you can see the brightness was at minus four for me and I got to eight for the contrast the more this contrast the better it is the saturation I went up to 30 to that there's less colors and when I go a little bit up there's a lot more colors but contrast actually my red hair just play a big role into that <laughs> I kept it at 30 and then the blur I put it at minus six so you want to get people to see your face and nothing else with that i decided to add a bit of the price and the label because at the end of the day what i wanted to show is how you can choose between something a little bit more smaller and a little bit more cheaper and something a little bit more expensive i'm gonna do the same thing again <laughs> it's okay i came here to use the text so i did the same thing did the text going with a price tag that could be much more into the expensive investment type of camera let's say 1999 the font usually the more it's fancy the less people are gonna be able to actually read and reminder here people are watching from their mobile phone so you really want to make it in a way where people have it easy when they look at anything that is in your thumbnail what I did and I duplicated it and changed the price here for something a little bit less expensive which is been used before or anything like that something behind it to make it a little bit more pop you know those ships element so and do that like that it's your color pretty much I'm not gonna redo the entire thing but i'm gonna show you or just kind of give you the idea here change that a little bit more beige oh it's a little bit more beige my bad okay let's keep it that way i duplicate it because it's just simple and it's over the 
number and the price tag so you want to change your position so you make it a little bit more backward and you change the colors so that people actually can read group everything because if you want to move the element around in the picture you don't have to move every element i need a bit of fun element here so tag yeah not that one oh pretty speaking french clearly to make it in a way where people are like ready to buy or just don't know what to buy so i make it that i duplicated it and i added one here it be the same concept so i'm just gonna move everything that i did here down below pop and you want your title to be literally what people can see from the get-go the color could be a good way to make it a little bit more appealing then i can move that here red this is french uh, speaking like when i'm like super satisfied yes and here you go play with the size after because when you get to group them you can literally play around with the size without having to play around with the size of the letter the size of the shape you don't have to do that you can just do that all at once i love when i do that that way so here you go yes or you can change the position and make it yeah like that. which one to buy here you go and then you can actually group them too and push them here if you made a mistake like me you don't have to literally copy paste everything you can just group them and put them here like that next thing you can do again optional here is to add a border because i feel like border can make your thumbnail pop a little bit more in a different way so let me show you what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna add a transparent border with that whoa, whoa. where are you where are you who ate you who ate you Voilà, je t'ai trouvé. I find you. Color, of course, that's what I'm gonna do because I like it that way. And you can play around with the thickness. Doesn't have to be super thick. You can just move it a bit. Way to do it like that. And here you go. Here you go. This is it. a lot of option to do it now from here. I'm gonna upload it from my phone. But I'm gonna go here and then you're gonna go on download mode and png which is like the best and then because i did two of them you can just click on the second page you download it's pretty much cute you get to find it on your download files and you have it and then you can see the results yes there you go you can see all the details and how it's actually gonna look but on the mobile phone obviously it's not gonna be as detailed now that we did that we're gonna use the phone now because it's a way for you to upload everything that you did from canva and using the application on your phone to download the same picture and then upload it from your phone onto your youtube screenshot recording here i'm gonna go into my canva i'm gonna go into the designs you have it here and what you can do is to actually click up there and download it and you have it right on your phone i'm gonna go into my application it's called youtube studio analytics all the review and anything that you need to know in order for your channel to just keep growing because i already have a video online <laughs> you have the option to change the picture if you want to right here and then you click here and then you have a lot of options like the screenshot from the video and stuff and then click here choose that and then select and then save it and you're good to go you did it you killed it you did it you managed to get through the whole thing here i love canva for everything that you can use honestly design visually you can go a lot of different ways but canva for me offered me the best give it a thumbs up like comment subscribe if you want to see more videos like that be fun with it be creative with it because you can take a lot of inspiration from a lot of people out there but make it your own if you're colorful keep it colorful if you're really much more into minimalistic keep it that way feeling and people actually can read whatever you're gonna have on your thumbnail that was it for me for today 
follow me on Instagram because it's gonna be a lot more massive videos when it comes to it and of course I'm gonna see you for my next video and like I say all the time all the time keep smiling because it's free and contagious in a good way bye